Hello and welcome to Talk Time. My guest today is Assam Congress President, APCC President, Mr. Ripun Bora, a veteran Congress leader who is known to speak his mind out in rather blunt manner. Mr. Ripun Bora, welcome to Talk Time. Thank you so much. You are in the hot seat as far as the Congress party in Assam is concerned. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, the Assam Congress in the news is in the news because there are a lot of people who wants to dethrone you and occupy the seat that you are presently holding, that is the presidency of the Assam Congress. So what's going on actually? Now you see, uh, in the party there is two things. One is some people, some leaders are ideologically committed. Yeah. And uh, some are power monger. So now what happens, those who are ideologically committed, oh, they are all right. But this, those power mongers, they actually, where, who, from which is the root cause, the during Lok Sabha election, some of our four or five veteran leaders who were aspirant for getting ticket, they did not got the ticket. So from, from that day, they have started this campaign. So from that day, they have started the campaign. And now, after the Lok Sabha result, then after the by-election result, so they have now accumulated all these things and their propaganda is that this leadership, this Ripunbara's leadership has failed. So he will not be able to revive the party in 2021. When the assembly election is Yes, due. assembly election. So their purpose is to dethrone me so that their purpose is not to bring Congress uh, to power. Mm. Their purpose is just they get power in the party. But, mm. but that, is, that, is, mm -hmm. that is a very significant statement you are making. Today, what is important from the, for the Congress party is to revive the party. But do you, do you think they, these power mongers which you are talking about, do you think they are acting against the interest of the Congress party? Yeah, definitely you see all of her in the country, if you see at such disaster period of our Congress party, in every state we have seen all the senior leaders have maintained restraint. Of course, Congress is a mass based party, it is a big party. Obviously, there should be the differences. Yeah. Obviously. But I have noticed in other states, in other states, in spite of so many differences, the uh, Congress workers are united. They are united, they have not, not shown it to others. They are united uh, against the BJP. So that is something lacking in Assam. Uh, in Assam. I have seen not for all, in particular a uh, few leaders, actually what I say, they are not ideologically committed to the Congress party. Now, Their personal interest yes. is more important than the party interest. You see, as the Congress president, you are a very responsible person. You are making this statement in a, res you are making a responsible statement. Now my question is, you are not naming these leaders, you are saying few leaders, but one of them has openly come in the public domain and that is the M your MP, Mr. Pradud Bordoloi, former minister. He has said openly, his conversation with Mr. Harish Rawat, your party in charge, uh, was captured in camera just before the press conference. It is now openly everybody knows. He said that Mujhe Mendet Chahiye means he wants to become the PCC president. So why, what is Pradut Bordeloi's grievance? Why does he want a mandate? How can he bring about change that you are not been able to do so? No, you see that I can't say that is his personal assessment. Okay. That is his personal, from his personal assessment, maybe he is thinking. But whatever he has said, this, I am not going to uh, make any controversy to this. But yeah. plainly I want to see, say, that our Congress party is a high command based party and as so far I am concerned, I am a disciplined soldier of the party, I am not power monger, I am not hungry for PCC president. It is the Congress high command, if say, if they think, if they think that they can have some better choice than me who can bring back the party in 2021, if they want to sense, I have no objection. As a, a loyal, I am a disciplined soldier of the party. I will always devote myself for the party only. Okay, you see, uh, Mr. Ripun Bora, not many people speak in such clarity like you are doing today in this conversation with me. Uh, you are saying that you are a disciplined soldier. Your interest for the party is 
first and foremost your interest is towards the party not individual so if necessary you are ready ready to vacate your position and allow anybody else to come if they can improve the party that's what you're saying yes yes obviously because our first priority is the party if party survives we will survive what i am today it is only because of my party it is what i am today because i, I because of my party and I, so therefore our first interest is a party if party survives we will survive now when there are less than two years left for the 2021 critical assam assembly elections the congress party is in a bad shape throughout the country not just in assam uh, at this juncture what is your suggestion to the party high command you said that yours is a high command based party we all know that now question is what will be your suggestion do you want that this leadership question in Assam should be resolved immediately without wasting time so that the party and people like you can concentrate in gearing up for the 2021 polls. Do you want that this issue should be resolved as soon as possible? Yes, obviously, obviously. I have already said that our topmost priority is the 4D party. So yes, if anybody, suppose uh, if anybody has changed at the fake end of time that he will not be able to give any miracle. It is correct. So now it is, if, if really High yeah. Command is convinced, if that uh, I should be replaced, so they should take decision immediately. No. I have no, no right. hesitation to it. So right. that my successor can prepare, can work, because lots of works to be done. Now, one of the oh. statement, oh. one of the conversation captured in camera oh. when Mr. Pradut Bordoloi was speaking to Mr. Harish Rawat oh. was that the AICC is notorious, quote unquote, for its indecisiveness. Now, in this case, if the AICC does not take a decision quickly, whether it is you, whether it is someone else, but at the end of the day, uh, it is the question of the Congress Party's performance. Now, do you want the high command? How have you told? Have you written a letter to them uh, describing what is going on? What have you done so far? No, uh, you see, there's a, whatever I have said, this is my feeling. Is it? Your personal high feeling. Command, but high command always thinks in a different way. They are also very expert men. They have also so many feedbacks. Now you see, so this is the whatever this debacle took place for the Congress party. High command has not taken it only in the perspective of Assam. This entire country, this is the political situation is there in the entire country. But for, for the reality check, if we say high command also knows these things, that in Assam, that in Assam, I have done better. I have done better in comparison to 2014. You see, 2014 there was government at our center, yeah. Congress government. And in Assam also we have government for 15 years. But in spite of that, there is a government, money power, all this official power. In spite of that, 2014, in spite of that, you see, Congress got only three seats. Lok Sabha, Lok Sabha. So, but in 2019, you see, I have no money, nothing. Fighting with so many hurdles, I also retain three numbers of seats. So, High Command has this feedback. And not only that, the, the other seats where we have lost, where we have lost, they are also our percentage of votes, mm. our percentage of votes also tremendously increased in comparison to 2014 and 2016. Right. Right. So this feedback High Command has. So these are in the mm. public domain, so High Command knows it, they have also got their own channels. So uh, you have not done miserably compared to your position in 2014. That's what is your basic yes, argument. Yes, yes. So in any case, you became the PCC president in 2017. So you have a five-year term. Yes. So technically speaking, yes. in the 2021 elections, unless yeah. there is a change, it yes. should be automatically under your leadership yes. normally. Yes. But that is, that is, of course, uh, depends on the high command yes. and the situation. Yes. Yes. So otherwise, you are willing to vacate your seat if somebody else can promise a better performance for the Congress. That's what you have said so far. No, no, that is not. That if somebody promises not, it is high command. If Who has to decide? Decides. If high command decides. Yes, if high command decides, okay. as a disciplined soldier, I am ready. But Absolutely. if somebody X, Y, Z claims, I am not. I am not ready. Yeah, I will abide by only high command. Absolutely. Oh. On that oh. note, we go for a short break, but don't go away. I'll be right back in conversation with Mr. Ripun Bora, President of the Pradesh Congress Committee, Assam.
Welcome back. I am in conversation with Mr. Ripun Bora, Congress President of Assam. Uh, Mr. Ripun Bora, you know, what is your biggest challenge today? Is it the BJP that you are going to fight in 2021? Or you are also having the obstacles to deal within your own party, considering, as you have yourself said in the beginning of this interview, that if a few people are fighting for power mongers, that's the word you used, uh, do you think these power mongers are going to harm the interest of the party and you have got double challenge from the BJP which is a strong party and secondly you're, you have to deal with hurdles within. How do you assess? No, you see uh, this uh, so far this uh, our within our party it is insignificant what I say because the grassroots workers, the people by and large and our congress workers, yeah. oh, they know all these things. They know all these things, so that's why it is only some people, few people, they are making media news only sitting at Gohati. Oh, so these grassroots people and basically by and large the Congress workers, all, they, they do not want to give importance to these things. They want only Congress. They want that BJP as alternative of BJP, Congress must come. So these things, they will not give so much of importance. See, so, I mean, I take your word. Mm. You are saying that these are insignificant things, yes. uh, what is happening within the party. But some top leaders, see, there are five to six top leaders of the uh, Congress party as far as Assam is concerned. You are one of them. Uh, the people who are trying to, you know, occupy the seat of the president, Pradesh Congress president, say, you take the name of the legislature party leader, Mr. Debarbato Sekia, his name is uh, doing the rounds. Mr. Pradut Bordlo has openly, uh, you know, asked for a mandate to be given to him to lead the party in Assam as the PCC president. There are reports that Mr. Torun Gogoi is also willing to take charge if the high command wants. So these are the three people, apart from, of course, you. There are maybe, who knows, there may be other dark horses who may be eyeing the post, fence sitters who are waiting for an opportunity to grab the position. So don't you think that this kind of a situation sends out a message that all is not well within the Congress? Ah, uh, yes, you see, uh, you can, apparently you can say but there is a history, there is a tradition in the Congress party. Yes. Though these things are there, but at the moment of crisis, always I have seen also, at the moment of crisis, we um, leave all these differences and we unite. So there are so many instances also there. So this also from this um, uh, historical background, I am optimistic. I am optimistic that those name what you have mentioned just now, but in hour of need, in hour of need, they will come together and when we will be going to fighting, when we will going to fight the election, to the, I think they will all come together and our main agenda is to dethrone BJP. Okay, now, now, but would you not have been a happy man if this kind of a situation would not have prevailed, if everybody would have talked about it in their party platforms, not uh, publicly in front of the media. That's how it started. See, uh, you are only responding. You did not start this. You are only responding to various allegations leveled against you or the impression that is created that Ripun Bora will not be able to lead the party. Now, would you, have been a ha would you not have been a happy man if these issues were discussed within the party platforms? No, you see, it is a very, uh, very tricky question. But the thing is this, in politics, you never get rosy rule. You never get any rosy picture. In politics, you the never road is get of thorns. one line traffic. One line traffic. It's if, a thorny road. Yeah, thorny road. If there is obstruction, if there is a struggle, that is only politics. In politics, this is a part of the game. This is a mm -hmm. part of the game. So we are used to it. We are accustomed to it. You are used to it. You are accustomed to it. You have faced, uh, I mean, the road has been extremely difficult for you. Yes. After a lot of struggle, you have reached this position. Yes. You had been a minister and today you are the PCC president in a very difficult time when all around the country, uh, your opponents, particularly the BJP, is consolidating yes. uh, day by day. Yeah. So do you think 2021, how easy or difficult it is going to be for you? You means the Congress yeah, party. Yeah, you see, uh, in, um, every election, you can't say that. BJP is today in power both in center and state. Yeah. It does not mean that it is a uh, it is a it will be give clean sweep, sweep to them also. For them also election is very tough. At the same time, we are in opposition. We don't have money or don't have resources. Ours for ours also it is very tough. But but 
the people's. The people's power is the main. So whatever feedback now we are getting, so everywhere in the village level, people are not happy. People, they are now thinking of, they are thinking of alternative. They are fed up with BJP, but they have not um, uh, expressed it. It is not burst out only because they are just waiting. They will be waiting till to the end of the uh, term of the government. But there will be revolt against the BJP and this, it is now, this uh, fire, is, fire is burning uh, in the minds and the hearts of the common people. All right. Now, now you see, uh, you are depending on the people because people are the masters. You know, in electoral democracy, in a yeah. vast country like mm. India, at the end of the day, whatever you may do, but ultimately it is the verdict of the people which you have to accept. Now, in this backdrop, what are the three slogans that the Congress party is going to use as far as 2021 is concerned? What will be your three top slogans? I mean, have you decided, have you started working on that? Yeah, yes, uh, we have already prepared, uh, going to prepare a charge seat against, the, seat yeah, against the BJP government. Against the BJP government. In All they are failures, all they are false promises. Mm -hmm. This is our number thing is that BJP has made the people full for their only to grab power only, they have, they have made the people in Assam full by, by giving all false promises. So what, and in this charge seat, what according to you mm. are one or two top areas where you are saying that the BJP has you know, misled the people of Assam or fooled the people of Assam, the word you used? Yeah. Which are these one or two issues? So you see, the first thing is they are uh, stepmotherly treatment to our Assam. First thing you see. Why do you say so? Why you see that they have what Narendra Modi has promised. They said that we will make Assam the number one state in India. Now you have seen that how you will make two hour of public sector undertakings, these two paper mills, profit making. They have been now closed down. This Numalika refinery, you are going to sell it out. The, all the oil fields, you are going to lease it out. And there is no employment opportunities. The railway infrastructure is totally stopped. Nothing has been happened. If, if you see the big dam, the, the, it, is, it is not done. What you have said. So whatever BJP has said, in Assam now no mega project during these five years of BJP and then again this time also. Soon once this five years is going to be elapsed. So now there is no mega project. No any industry okay. to now, Assam. Now, now, now uh, mm. you have a long list. This is what you will contain in your chart seat when, as yeah. in when you come out. Yeah. But what are the one or two things that you are going to project? What will be the positive campaign that the Congress in Assam is going to do? One or two things. Yes. This is the number one thing is the first is our new generation employment. We will create employment opportunities in massive way in Assam by rapid industrialization in all. There's a small and big and medium and number all one. this. Number yeah, one. This, this is one. And the second thing uh, that is this development. This village you see, this uh, poverty alleviation. Now BJP has uh, stopped it. Now BJP is giving only three schemes. These three schemes is not enough to alleviate the poverty. One okay. is that uh, PMAY and the other is uh, that okay. is the Uzala gas. So and the basically, third one, basically yeah. what you were saying is that employment generation and yes. poverty, alleviation poverty alleviation will be the two top slogans of yes. the Congress party for yes. 2021. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. On that note, we go for another short break. Stay on. Don't go away. I'll be right back in conversation with Mr. Ripun Bora, president of the Assam Congress. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm still in conversation with Mr. Ripun Bora. Okay, uh, Mr. Ripun Bora, you have said with clarity on the Congress's top agenda for 2021, how you are going to approach the people. You said that you are going to, cap you are going to talk about employment generation and poverty alleviation. And you've also highlighted some of the ch your charges against the BJP government in the state. All that is okay. Now to win an election today, the, the era of one party rule is over. Everybody has an alliance and the BJP has demonstrated how stitching proper alliances is paying rich dividends to the BJP. Entire Northeastern region, all the regional parties are an alliance partner of the BJP. Now, if you look at the Congress, take the case of the Congress in Assam, you don't have a, even have a single ally. Now, the big question is, 
what will be your equation with the AIUDF? We have heard from Mr. Torun Gogo, your veteran leader, that he has no problem. There should be an alliance, that's what he's saying. But he is a leader, but you are the party president. My viewers would like to know from you, what will be the stand of the Congress party? Will there be an alliance between the Congress and the AIUDF before 2021? Now you see, this is, it is very, uh, now it is too early to say. So everything depends on the uh, opinion of our party workers. Right. We will have to take workers from rank, uh, opinion from the rank and files, from the grassroots workers also. We will have to, we will have to make a consensus on this. So there is a series of discussions will be required. This is one thing. So without doing this, we, nobody can say straight away. Absolutely. Second, the final yeah. decision will depend yeah. on your feedback from yes. the rank and file. Yes. But as the PCC president, what is your personal view? Should now, there be an alliance? Because at the end of the day, you have to, you, you, your target will be to win as many seats as possible. No, not only AIUDF. If alliance is in order to keep out BJP from the power. Yes. We must have alliance, not only in AIDF, other like-minded parties also, we are ready to make alliance. Absolutely, okay. accepted, okay. accepted, no dispute. Yeah. Now, BJP's alliance partners are very, very clear-cut. People know AGP is their alliance partner. Yeah. The Bodoland People's Front yes. is their alliance yes. partner. We have uh, parties in Dhemaji, uh, you know, regional, yes. local Gana level, Shakti. Gana Gana Shakti. Shakti. Uh, and these are some of the parties. Now, as far as the Congress is concerned, the more you delay, now who, who could be some of your allies? One ally, of course, is AIUDF is a possibility. Who are some of the tribal allies that you could bank no, on? You see, the other parties are also there, the CPA, left parties are also there. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, they are, and moreover, you can't say now you, this, this alliance with BPF and this alliance with Dhanu Shakti, with BJP, and even AGP, you, take, no, you cannot take granted. You cannot take granted that 2021. They will, they will be with the BJP. BJP. Yes. They, that they that is they a very important be. statement you are making. Yeah. So on what basis are you saying this? Are you getting feelers already? Or what is it? No, you see, something cannot be made public. Yes, yes. Yeah. I accept this is, that. This is our political strategy. Mm -hmm. So for the interest of the party, I must keep something secret, which I, I cannot I give say. you that. I, I oh. give it to you. I oh. give it to you. Oh. Uh, I'll not press you on that. Now, Mr. Torun Gogo is saying, uh, again, Chief Minister for 15 years, uh, most veteran uh, political leader, not for Assam, for the entire Northeast. He is saying that, you know, we have no problem in talking even to the AGP, which is an alliance partner of the present BJP yes. government. Yes. Uh, you are also saying more or less the same thing. Yeah. Now, there has to be some uh, basis for these kind of uh, statements coming from top leaders. No, you see, we have seen this, uh, now AGP under compulsions. Under their political compulsions, they are with BJP. But always, uh, they cannot continue like that. So there are so many other issues also. Because you see politics in many cases, some issue based also. There is some for the, for the sake of our state, for the interest of the state, something, some such type of issues will come, will, will have to be together. So we are waiting for that. You are waiting for that. Now, again, uh, at the end of the day, your house has to be perfectly in order. All these things will follow. Your alliance will follow. Your charge seat you are going to prepare. People will be working on it. Uh, you are going to finalize your election slogans. Uh, you know, all these things will follow. But your house has to be in order. All this mess has to be removed. And so that there is a collective leadership uh, to fight, fight an election. Particularly against a very, very strong political force like the BJP. Okay. Uh, now, as the PCC president, uh, yes, AIC, AICC has its own mechanism. They have, they can get feedback from various sources. But are you going in a delegation to meet the AICC and discuss the issues openly when there is enough time, instead of talking about these issues closer to time? Are you planning to do that? Yes, yes, we are planning. We are planning, and in fact, uh, in fact, we have been already uh, talking. We have already been talking with AICC High Command at different level. We are planning and uh, in due course of time, it will be materialized and so many issues, so many things, so many strategies, all this because without support and guidance, AICC, we cannot go. So therefore, that all blueprint we have already prepared 
and uh, we will submit to AICC and we will have this. So you hope, finally, mm -hmm. uh, two things. Mm -hmm. You hope that these issues will be resolved sooner than later. Yes, obviously it will be and we are also trying and uh, it will be because I firmly believe, I firmly believe that Congress from the historical background of Congress I have seen in every moment of crisis, ultimately Congress people, they forget their differences, they unite. unite. Yes. Mm. My final question to you, mm. what would be your appeal to the quote-unquote power mongers within your party? That, that's how you started this conversation. The, what will be your appeal to the power mongers today? No, my appeal to them that at this, this is a not only crisis of our individual, it is a crisis for our country, it is a crisis for our state. So, and at this moment, it is the Congress party who can, uh, who can lead the country or who can save the people. So, therefore, all this small uh, personal interest, we should forgive it, we should leave it, and we should come together for the greater interest of our country. Absolutely. On that note, Mr. Yeah. Ripunbora, thank you very thank much you indeed so much. for thank speaking you. to me on Top Time. Thank you. Thank you.